How much your service tonight? I see there's not much going on around here. So you've stayed here on your own? Quite so. All by myself. All the others were either killed by the Cumans or fled to Rate. I'm sorry to hear that. And what's keeping you here, alone? My older brother ran away with the wandering players, so when our father was on his deathbed, he made me swear I'd never leave our home. I can see you took your vow seriously. I did. And it's starting to get dangerous around here. Again. The Cumans. If it were Cumans, I'd grab an axe and that would be that. But a week back, some rabble made their way through here. They begged me for food, and mark my words, they weren't taking no for an answer. If they'd been just a tad hungry, I swear they would have stormed the cottage. There are gangs like that around, true enough. I saw the mess they left behind. Savages. It was horrible. People tried to find shelter in the church. But them dogs was waiting. They knew too well that's where folk would try to hide. And where did you hide? By the grace of God, I got my family away into the woods. And I don't see your family with you. I hope those bastards didn't sniff them out. No, no. It takes better man than them to track me down. I sent my wife to Rate with some others. Do you think folk will ever go back to their homes? Well, I don't know about scallets, but the folk here are sure to want to come back. The only thing they're missing is spiritual support. Do you mean the priest? Indeed. When the land's at war, noblemen fight to protect their property. But simple folk want someone to tend their souls. Of course. But it was the Scalitz parish priest who ministered here, wasn't it? He did. But there's been no sign of him since the attack. Or at least he's definitely not in Rate among the refugees. That's true enough. I didn't see him there. But if you're interested, young fella, maybe you could help us find the priest we need here. I can always ask, but I've really got no idea where to start. I can help with that. A few years ago, there used to be another priest in Scalitz. Simon, I think his name was. Simon. Father Simon. I remember him. That's the one who went missing, right? Aye. I don't want to spread rumours, but they say he was in love with his housekeeper. And then she died somehow, poor thing. Sodom and Gomorrah. Clerics today. They're men just like the rest of us, with man's passions. Well, to finish the story, Simon left the parish and ran away. You know that already. There was neither sight nor sound of him for a long time. Until this spring, he showed up here. And what's he doing here? That's just it. People say he's become a hermit. All right. And where can I find him? I couldn't tell you exactly, but you could start by talking to that girl's parents. Well, they live on a farm nearby, and it's likely they know more. They may even have had words with him. I'll go and see what they have to say for themselves. God go with you, lad, and I pray you find him. If some heathen stabs me in my sleep, I'd rather have a decent burial. Don't worry. I'll bring someone.
Hey, who's there? Someone there. there? Greetings, good knight. How may I serve you? It may sound strange, but I'm looking for Simon, the priest. Father Simon? I last saw him when he was paying me damages. That was back when Mary was still with us. If you want to know something, ask the wife. I don't have the time or the will to talk about that man. I understand. Thank you. I'm looking for the priest, Father Simon, and I heard you might know of him. Simon? What do you want him for? I'm looking for the priest who used to take care of St. James, and the locals tell me they saw him around here. I don't know if I can help you there. He'll never go back to his parish if you ask me. Very well. What is it you want to know? What went on between Simon and your daughter? Nothing that hasn't happened before. Our Mary was his housemaid in Scalitz. She was pretty, very pretty. And he was young, and so things went the way they do between comely young folk. She came back home one day, heavy with child. That must have been quite a scandal. My husband was furious. He ran around the cottage brandishing an axe and yelling that he'd kill him. The neighbours wagged their tongues a bit, but in the end I was happy the girl was taken care of. The priest was generous with his compensation. Only she never had the chance to hold that babe in her arms. She didn't live through the birth. I'm very sorry. Such is a woman's lot in life. Men die in battle, and women in the arms of the midwife. And what happened to Simon? The poor man. He took it the worst. He was sure God's wrath smote Mary for her fornication. That's rubbish. People lie together out of wedlock all the time. And God never smites them down. That's just what I told him. But it's hardly my place to lecture a priest. And who knows? Maybe he was right. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. He was overflowing with grief. He barely spoke, didn't eat, refused to take a new housemaid. And then, one fine day, the presbytery was deserted. It took a good season before another priest came along. Where can I find him? He's said to be wandering around here somewhere. I heard that too, and I'm inclined to believe it, even though I haven't seen him myself. How come? After our poor Mary went to her rest, we used some of the money he'd paid us to put a cross up by the roadside. And lately, there's been wreaths of comfrey turning up next to it. I don't take them there, nor my husband neither. You think Simon does? Who knows? Maybe it's a miracle. I could believe anything. But there's not been fresh ones for a while, so perhaps he's moved on elsewhere again. I see. Can you tell me where that cross is? Certainly. There are settling tanks for the mines to the west of Scalitz. On the hill above them in the woods, there are several paths. Mary's cross is by one of them, close to the brook. All right. Thanks. I'll be going. Very good, then. And if you do find him, let him know that we have no hard feelings. I'll tell him.
This must be that cross. Mary's mother was right. Someone did lay flowers here recently. I should have a look around and see if there's comfrey growing anywhere nearby. Hey, you! What are you doing here? I've come for the priest. Simon. There's no one here called that. There is. Do you take me for a fool? All right. Maybe there is someone here. What of it? We're not going anywhere. I think you should talk less and move your legs more. And why is that? You think you've got what it takes to beat us? I might. But it doesn't matter, because I saw you yesterday and then stopped by Talmberg to report. So, unless you'd rather wait for Sir Divish's Captain Robard, you should go now. Shit! All right, we'll go. How far are they? Far enough, still. If you run, I'm sure you'll get away. Right, right. Thanks for the warning. <sighs> Are you all right? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I think so. Oh, what happened to those wretches? They're skulking around here somewhere. Good God! Couldn't you scare them off somehow? I'm afraid they'll be back. I'll see what I can do. Just don't hurt anyone. Oh. 
Oh, thank you, my son. I was beginning to fear I'd never get out of here alive. They didn't look dangerous. The only thing at risk was your possessions. I know, poor fools. But I was afraid they'd leave me here. What would I have done then? And to whom do I owe my salvation? My name's Henry. You may remember me. I'm the son of the Scalitz blacksmith. Your face does seem familiar. But listen, Henry, I can't help feeling you didn't stumble across me by accident. It's true. I've come to ask a favor of you. Me? What on earth could I do for you? I need you to go back to St. James. The folk there need spiritual guidance. Scalitz has a burned-out shell, and many have died in St. James. They need a priest. Any priest. I understand, but I have to disappoint you. I gave up my calling. Instead, I've given myself over to repentance. I know your story, Father. Then you know what I'm guilty of. Yes, and I don't want to try to make light of it. Your conscience is your own affair. But I know that deep down you're a good man. You don't know what you're saying. You don't know me. But I know what you did. Many priests break God's commandments willy-nilly and aren't the least ashamed. That doesn't absolve me of my sins. God's law is set, no matter how often it's violated. You're certainly right. But the people need you. And forgive me for being blunt, but while you can leave the presbytery if you choose, it doesn't absolve you of your duty to Christian folk. But I'm a sinner. I'm not fit to guide anyone. I'm unworthy to do so. Uh, priests, bishops, monks, abbots, they're all sinners. Even the Holy Father himself is a sinner. You've done your penance, and now your people need you. Uh, you're probably right. It is my duty. At least for a time. Until they find someone better. I don't think they'll find anyone better in a hurry. All right. I'll take what I can carry and go back to St. James. Thank you. Your parishioners will be very grateful. I need help with treatment. Hmm, and what's wrong with you? Oh, nothing. But Philip from Scalitz is dying. He's lying in Sassau and won't last long. Slowly now. What happened to him? Nobody knows much. He's not wounded. But I heard he was hiding from the Cumans for days in a pile of carcasses. The Lord have mercy. The living should never lie with the dead. His intestines must be purged. But even then, he's in God's hands. How do I clean his intestines? It might surprise you, but you'll have to give him alcoholic spirits. The purest you can get your hands on. The best is distilled from Artemisia. It'll make him a bit delirious, but it'll help. I'll show you how to prepare it. God save you, good knight. Uh, what can I do for you? I found you a priest. Really? <laughs> That's wonderful news. 
Who is it? The former parish priest of St. James. I persuaded him to return to live among you, at least for a while. So you found him? Yes. He was roaming the woods around here. Thank God. You'll see. Once there's a priest, people will soon be back. I hope so. I've put together a small sum uh, for a new piece. So I thought uh, a portion should definitely go to you as a reward. Thanks. That'll come in handy. You're welcome. The main thing is, we'll have a man of God here with us. So, farewell to you. And I hope he gets here soon. Just don't you let him run off again. I'll keep an eye on him myself. God speed to you, Henry. And thank you for your help.
I'm going to enjoy this. Better fish it. Ow!
What's going on there? What's that? What is Well now, look what's coming from... when I wanted to vent my rage on someone. I hope they leave soon.
Welcome, Henry. Just my luck to get stuck here with all the crew. Some have a log, probably.
please help me. What happened to you? Those human devils killed my husband. Me and the children had to flee for our lives. To live in the woods, like wild beasts. So I beg here at the roadside. Nothing else is left to me. Be merciful, good sir. Wouldn't you have a morsel of food for me, sir? I haven't eaten for three days. Everything I find, I give to the little ones. Food? Let me see. What about this? May God reward you for your kindness. So, what did Master Pfeiffer have to say? I consulted him and we definitely have a starting point. Tell me more. Just as you ordered. Master Pfeiffer found out they need copper sheets for the core of the coins and quicksilver for the alma... Cheers! Alma, uh, uh, the other part? I see. They have such materials at the monastery. Exactly. That's why I I'm interested in the local forges. Yes, that is good. Yesterday, I heard people from the craftsman's yard by the monastery complaining. They said they could not sleep at night because the blacksmith works all the time till dawn. I see. That's certainly worth asking about. Have you heard anything else? You said they use quicksilver. There is a painter lodging here who is painting the church in Ujits. I heard him complain also. He said that he went to the monastery for quicksilver and it was all gone. Well, that's something to follow up as well. Thanks. I'm honored that you should come to me. I hear you've had some problems with the supply of Quicksilver. Problems? I should say so. For the third time this month they've told me they've none. There's no quicksilver to be had, they said. And who exactly are you talking about? Who's holding back the goods on you? The monastery overseer, or his assistant, more like. So what did the overseer have to say to you? Nothing. Apparently he doesn't deal in such trifles. Leaves it all to his assistant, the pompous git. Surely such valuable material can't just vanish. Where can it be? I wish I knew. Every time I ask for the red paint, there's a different reason why they haven't got the quicksilver to mix it. Once they said the goods never arrived, and another time that the wagon carrying that was ambushed. Then it went astray somewhere. And you think they're lying? Jesus, what do I know? Got it for you, but right? it seems pretty strange to me. Three times in a row the same thing goes missing. There's bad luck and then there's something else. What do you need Quicksilver for? I don't. They do. To mix up the red pigment for me. Got it. I'm painting right. the church in Ujits. Can you imagine how stupid those biblical scenes look without red? Not really. Well, then be glad you can. My eyes are just to imagine it. That's all I need to know for now. Ah. Oh. But wouldn't you care to buy something before you go? Or play a game? I really need some money. I've been waiting here a while and my stay's getting expensive. Why not? Show me what you have to offer.
He's here again. Well, I never. Henry! Hey! Henry! I'm glad to see you. Matthew! Fritz! You're alive! Of course we're alive. You can't get rid of us that easily. I'm almost surprised how happy I am to see the pair of you are all right. We are now, but we barely made it. Yeah, yeah, it was hard. Fritz ran like a little girl. <laughs> really? Bollocks! Bloody Joker. <laughs> Tell us what happened to you. They gave me a pretty good thrashing as well. It was only in Rattai that I got back in my right mind. And I see you're not doing too badly for yourself. What are you up to? Right now, I'm a squire for Sir Radzik. I see you've worked your way up. And how are you two getting by? It's shit. You said it. We're still chopped off to bits. Owe the monastery a bundle. And there's no work here. Not for anyone with more than half a brain, anyway. No one's interested in two good carpenters in Sassau. No one. And we looked everywhere. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know of anything. It will really help us out right now. Well, I can ask around, but I'm not promising anything. Thanks, Henry. We'll pay off the debt, don't you worry. And where would they hire you to? Well, we were carpenters in the mines, so wherever they work with wood, I suppose. Forget about construction. After Scarlet's, no one will be building for a long time. Just here in Sassau, and they don't want us here. The best chance we have is to work at a mill. People always have to eat. Ideally, we're looking for a job that pays a lot and doesn't require much work. What other neighbours of ours made it? Your hunkers in the monastery. That girl really helped us out. That's about all we know. When we ran for it, we helped Teresa. But who knows where she is now? We got separated. I was the one who helped her get out of Scalitz. She lives with her uncle in a mill in Ratai. I'm glad she survived. Since you know her so well, why not try asking her if she knows about any work? I'd like you to teach me how to be better at stealth. Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? Since it's you... More! All right. And now? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Agreed. Now listen up. I'd like you to teach me how to be better at stealth. Certainly. I'd like to hone my skills. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? Is this enough? Come now, just a little more and we have a deal. Agreed. Now listen up. God save you, good knight. What can I do for you? I want to get better at fist fighting. Certainly. I'd like to hone my skills. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot?
Is this enough? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Satisfied? Come now, just a little more and we have a deal. Agreed. Now listen up. The monastery wants you to pay for treatment. That doesn't sound right. Leave it be, Howell. I won't. What happened? We... might have pummeled his face. Uh, but don't get involved in me. We'll settle it on our own. Wait, who exactly did he pummel? Well, he kept on bothering us and... Uh, in a nutshell, it was his fault and we're not going to talk about it anymore. But couldn't there be a way to settle it? Maybe he'd let you off the... There isn't. Don't be a twat, Fritz. The two of you are up to your necks in shit, and you're going to play tough instead of seeing sense. Go to hell, Henry. You and Elias. You want as bad as the other. If you say so, I'll leave it be. Matthew and Fritz and their regards. They survived. My God, I'm glad. They helped me out a lot. And where did you see them? In Sassau. I bumped into them in front of the tavern. Where else? And how are they doing? They're doing fine. The monks brought them back to health. But they don't have work and they're in debt. You wouldn't happen to know of any jobs going for two lazy carpenters. Not here. And I think it will be the same in all of Ratai. It's overcrowded with refugees and they're all looking for work. Mm, that's bad. Those two need work badly to keep them out of mischief. You know what they're like. I do indeed. Try the mills in the smaller hamlets. The miller in Ledechko is old. Maybe he could use some strong hands. I will. Thanks.
You've been working at the mill for a while now, haven't you? <laughs> Pretty long. Why'd you ask? I heard there's a possibility of finding work here for two talented carpenters. That depends on how talented they are. I'd say they're talented enough. We'll soon see. But go talk to the miller about it, all right? Of course. Is the miller very strict? The miller isn't. But his foreman doesn't give the workers anything for free, besides kicks and insults. Well, hopefully that won't happen. They're good men. I'll be happy if that's true. I am honoured that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Teresa, the mill maid, sent me. She said you could use some help. Some extra pairs of hands would be useful. What do you have in mind? My friends, two survivors of Scalitz, are looking for work. And why should I take them? They're experienced carpenters. Why not? Carpenters would be helpful. There's a lot of work here at the mill, and I'm not as spry as I used to be. Thomas, my foreman, tries his best, but he ain't up to that kind of work. But they aren't idlers and drunks, are they? I only take in people who are willing to do hard, honest work. They're good men, from Scalitz. Basically your neighbours. You have to help them. That's God's own truth. Love thy neighbour as thyself. Tell them I'll give them a chance. We'll talk about pay and a roof over their heads when they get here. What, what the hell are you doing? How are the sick and wounded faring? I don't think there's anything more I can do for them. You did what you could. <laughs> Truly. I don't know what I would have done without you. You saved a lot of lives. What? What happened? We brought you back to the land of the living. How? How long have I been unconscious? For a long time. Your friends have left. I have to find them. No, rest now. You're going to be very weary for the next week or two. You'll find your friends. They probably ended up in Ratai like most of our folk. Well... Good health to you, all Henry. Right. And Henry? Hmm? Thank you. Damn!
Just for a while, he said. God be with you. It was young Zmola. What? Zmola's the one responsible for all the thefts and death. He tried to kill me and Leszek and God knows who else. Sweet Jesus. Where is he now? He ran away and I doubt he'll come back. He knows the gallows await him. So is that the end of it, do you think? It looks that way. I don't know if he had any cronies, but if he did, they'll be lying low from now on. I'm glad to hear that. After all the horrible things that have happened, we'll have to reconsecrate part of the monastery. I'm looking for some quicksilver. Would you have any on hand? Talk to my assistant. He deals with such trivial matters. Fine, thank you. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. Do you have any quicksilver in stock? Who's asking? Nobody. I'm just asking. Then I don't have any. That sounds almost as if you don't want to sell it to me. It's not that I don't want to. It's that I can't. Can't you? In the Sassau Monastery? That seems unlikely. It looks more like you're lining your own pockets to me. I wonder what people would have to say about that. It's not. I'm not. Oh, shit. Get to the point. Uh, they came for me at noon. Directly to the office. The overseer was somewhere on his rounds. Some night, it was. Without a crest. Armed. He called himself Sir Yezhek, and he had a lackey with him called Rapporter, a scruffy fellow with a yellow cape, always whistling he was. They told me they wanted all the quicksilver we order for the monastery. Of course, I told him that wouldn't be possible. And then what, did they threaten you? Uh, not at first. They tried to bribe me, and when I refused, they started threatening. How did you hand it over to them? I take it up the hill behind the monastery here. There's a big tree there with a small chapel underneath. Sometimes Rapporta is there waiting for me. If not, I leave it there. What did they threaten you with? They said they know people in the monastery. That they'd have me thrown out and beaten for stealing. And you had been stealing? I mean, before then? You know how it is. I work my fingers to the bone and they pay me a pittance. So they knew about you? Yes, they knew my name, everything. Very well. Thank you. Hey! Watch it! You wouldn't happen to know what Fritz and Matthew did here, would you? Don't even talk to me about that. <sighs> they weren't badly injured compared to most of the others here. And after lying in bed for a while, they got bored. So they started drinking. I'm trying to help people in dire need, and the two of them are drinking! With that cretin, Elias. They always have been thoughtless, but at least they were punished for it. Who is this Elias, anyway? One of the ordinal monks who helps out here. He was the one who brought the booze. All three of them got friendly pretty fast. You know what they say about birds of a feather. And do you know what got between them? I don't have a clue. One minute they're the best friends in the world, and then a lot of yelling and furniture flying around. They threw Fritz and Matthew out straight afterwards. What kind of person is this Elias? Mm, a timid kind of fellow. And why is he being so hard on Fritz and Matthew? They're drowning in debt because of him, and it seems all they had was a small fight. I don't know. He was the one who wanted to befriend them in the first place. I don't believe it's because of any property damage they did. It's got more to do with wounded pride. Thank you. That's all I need.
I heard you had a fight with Fritz and Matthew. Heathens. So it was you they fought with? Yes, it was me. And I hope I'll never have to see those wastrels again. They deserve to be ousted, but the debt? How are they ever going to pay it? I really don't care. Let them live in penury. Brutes. Isn't that a little unchristian? You wouldn't want personal spite to ruin their lives, would you? Well, those were just idle threats, really. If they come and apologise, there's always a possibility of forgiveness. What the hell? Who? Got this plan. I've got this plan. What's it about? You have incredible good fortune, friend. I have an offer for you, the likes of which comes along only once in a lifetime. All right, show me what you're selling. As you wish. There's plenty of coin in it. What's it about? I have a one... All right, show me what you're selling. As you wish. Good health to you. About your brawl with Elias. Your best friend settled the matter. You're serious? Absolutely. All you have to do is go to him and promise you'll pay the debt somehow. We... We won't forget this. Oh, on my honour. Thanks. God save, what can I do for you? The Miller and Ledech Cove would be happy to meet you. You really found work for us? Of course. I couldn't bear to look at those sour faces of yours a moment longer. Thanks, Henry. Only... <sighs> what? The reward we talked about, well, we haven't got two groschen to rub together. Nah, that doesn't matter. You'll pay me when you have it. That we will. Stop by and visit us in a week. We'll pay you back as soon as we get our first wage.
Good health to you, Henry. Hey, watch it. Looking for I'll something around. You. How are you, Henry? Ah. Welcome, Henry. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? You look different, Master. So as to fit in. I don't want it known that I'm in town. Right. So what have you found out so far? I found out where they get their quicksilver from. You were right. It was the monastery. Hmm. It was the only logical explanation. It changed hands on the hill behind the monastery. Have you been there to have a look around? Not yet. Maybe it would be worth the time. I'll go and see. And have you found out who's behind it? Someone called Rapata. Not... Yes, of course. That's sophisticated work. There's a man I know who works at the monastery yard. Master Engraver, Jerome of Silesia. You don't suppose that he's... No, not that, God forbid. I know him well. He'd never do anything like that. But he runs an engraving workshop, so he might have heard something. Very well. I'll ask him. But ask with tact. I don't want him getting offended. And I prefer you not to mention me at all. I'll try to think of something. That's all.